Hello and welcome Taurus to the November 2020 forecast. Today we're going to use an oracle deck for messages. We're going to use the angel romance deck as well. What is it? Okay, we have it here. And we're going to use the tarot cards. We're also going to use the dice and the scarabs for additional messages. Okay? All right then. So let's start off with the tarot cards. And I want to mention remind to everybody to please pick what resonates with you because I am doing a general reading for all the Tauruses and you know Tauruses have you know different things going on in their life so it's gonna be a love reading career reading health reading anything that pops out we're going to address it okay all right guys that being said let's get started we have let's pick two of these okay Taurus and yeah let's flip them around and see what we have Let's roll the dice. <clears throat> okay, and let's get the scarab. Let's see if we have anything on the messages with scarabs. Okay. Alright. Okay, Taurus. Interesting month for you ahead. Okay. Let's put it away so you can see the cards. Okay. Um currently current to Taurus. When you get this video, this card symbolizes your current energy. So when you click on this video, this message is for you, okay? When you clicked on it, it's because there was something for you, okay? So we have here the Queen of, of Swords. Currently, Taurus, you may be feeling like you're trying to decide upon something. You're trying to make some judgment out of situation, Taurus, okay? So you're using your head now. Um, and I think it has to do with work. It could because we have here the work we have three of uh, pentacles we have works here so maybe there's a situation at work where you have to use your mind and uh, I don't know maybe there's a, a, a co-worker that's you know getting out of hand and now you're just observing them and, and try to see if you can make a really good decision okay I'm just giving you an example here um, your foundation here is the wheel of fortune there's a lot going on and maybe there's a lot going on in your job Okay, a lot of instability because the wheel of fortune symbolizes a wheel that keeps spinning, but nothing is still, you know, settled. And Taurus doesn't like that because Taurus likes stability. They don't like, you know, things messing around with their job. Um, we also have here the King of Swords. You're cutting off any crap that's in your way. Okay, you don't have time for that. You're just, pfft, you're clearing your mind basically. Okay, you're cutting through any entanglements that or gossips or anything that people have been saying okay and this is you currently you have here um also we have here the leo card which symbolizes strength okay um it also symbolizes um uh having authority over other people okay so maybe you're the boss here i don't know maybe you are the boss of a couple of car uh, co-workers okay now we do have here one two three four five six seven eight nine we have here nine of swords there could be a, a, a situation where someone's being cruel to somebody or bullying somebody, okay? Uh, maybe you saw a disrespect at work, okay? This is a, it's just an example that I'm giving you, or it could also pertain to um, having low self-esteem or feeling bad because someone said something, a hater said something, you know? Now we have here one, two, three, four, five, six. We have here the seven of wands, defensive, defensiveness, okay? Ooh, okay, so there's a situation here you know pretty heated up now what's come to pass we have here strength okay we have your strength and when I said what's come to pass it means the past month or something that just came to pass we have your strength we have here and it's funny because you 
this is the strength card so you've been very strong lately you know this season and you've been using your intuition and, and it's still it's telling you to also use your intuition to keep using your intuition because what you're thinking is what it is okay um there are some situations we have here the shen uh the shen scarab that if you don't step in and take control out of it and i know you have control so you know you, it's going to keep going it's going to keep repeating itself so make sure that and, and you know i like taurus because taurus is a very fixed sign like leo they're uh, they're like the leo for work <laughs> you know they're the grounded version of leo they're the fixed sign now for november taurus we got you know we got some good news here we have the knight of swords we got going after what you want passionately okay going after your goals for november and it's great because mars is going direct in aries you know, Mars has been going retrograde for uh, I don't know already like for two months already and it's it's been frustrating because things don't get done like there's always an obstacle course you know but no now in November you're gonna get the green light however you're gonna feel a bit defeated because you're gonna want things to move quick and you're not gonna probably get instant results you know like you want them but remember, just keep you know keep calm because Mars is just gaining his velocity again. Okay, he's he's gaining strength, so re relax. Um, from the outside, you're gonna get a lot of responsibilities. Okay, more responsibilities your way in, in you know in November. But don't worry, Taurus could take it. Taurus, you're you're a strong person. You could take it. Um, what you fear is heartbreak. Could be relationship. Could be having to face something you don't want to face that you've. You've seen it before, but you just didn't want to look at it. Okay, this is in November. And we have your victory. Taurus, if you continue to do what you're doing, you know, you're going to have victory. You're going to have good news. You're going to be triumphant. Okay? So keep doing what you're doing. Um, we have here three of oh, three of pentacles. Here we go. These, This is this and this is the same thing. So it's trying to give us a message, a strong message about work. Okay, now in terms of love, let's see what messages we got here. Okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Now, Taurus loves to have stability in a relationship. So sometimes that could translate into control to another person, to the per you know? And that's why a lot of Taurus are known as controlling, but really what they want is for the other person to give them a sense of security. Okay. So I think this is what, if you're in a relationship, it's trying to tell you to, you know, relax because you are secure and, you know, just trust the other person, basically. And we have here children. Okay, this is another message here. We have your love life is being affected by children. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's a situation having pertaining to child support. Maybe someone didn't pay for it. Um, or maybe there's children in the way in a three-sided relationship. This is a message for you, Taurus. Remember, everybody's different. If you want a personal reading, go to the links below and I'll be happy to give it to you. But this is so far what's going on in November. You're going to do good. You're going to go after your goals and you're going to be victorious. Although, you're going to have a lot of responsibilities. But hey, it's better to have work than not have work. Okay? All right, Taurus, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment. I love to hear your story. All right, until next time.